Hailed as one of the greatest fossil discoveries in the past half century, the question is how much more can we learn from it? Deep inside a cave in South Africa, anthropologists discovered the primitive remains of Homo naledi. An anthropology professor from UW-Madison is at the heart of this discovery, and he'll return to the dig site tomorrow. As Dave Delosier tells us, the rising star cave that they're searching still holds many questions. I was interested in anthropology when I was a kid. An interest that over the years has led John Hawks to all corners of the world in search of the origins of mankind. There would be one day, though, that would change everything. You know, I was, I was actually here in my office. Um, it was 1st of October in 2013. A colleague sent him an email with photos of bones found inside a cave in South Africa. Bones from a previously undiscovered species of human ancestor, Homo naledi. It was clearly going to be a super important discovery. What we didn't know from the photos was that it would turn out to be a lot more than we ever expected. Professor Hawks joined the team that for two years worked deep inside the Rising Star Cave. Working in a cave so fraught with danger, only the smallest researchers could fit through the tiny opening to what appeared to be a burial chamber, the use of which, by a primitive species, brought with it questions. Just grappling with that possibility has been you know, a challenge for us because how do we convince in a scientific way that that's really what happened. Inside, they discovered more than 1,500 pieces of bone, part of at least 15 individual skeletons. So it's something human-like. It's, it's stepped onto the human direction among our ancestry, but it's not a human. It's got a brain a third the size of ours. In the next year, they hope to learn the age of these fossils and unlock the secrets of how they live. And they can't tell their stories. It's only our science that allows us to understand what happened to them and how they were part of our story. At UW-Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Pretty amazing the work they're doing. Now at 7 tonight, Professor Hawks will be speaking Wednesday night at the lab in Henry Hall. Now tomorrow he's going to leave for the Rising Star Cave in South Africa to continue the work there. And they believe the remains of many more individuals are still in that cave. Yeah, that's each 7 o'clock tonight. Fascinating so. work. Yeah. Still